Hi there, there's so much you can do in the Fairlight page in DaVinci Resolve, but you can kind of break things down into two main categories of edits. One are clip level edits that affect just one individual clip, and the other are track level edits that affect all clips on that track. In this video, we're going to look at clip level edits. I've already got a video on track level edits, which I'll put a link to down in the description. So here we are in the Fairlight page, and we've just got this single vocal track. I'm just gonna play this back so you know what we're working with. Then that would have a quite a low dynamic range. However, if I talked really quiet and then really loud and then really quiet and then really loud, there'd be a greater dynamic range there of the audio. So we've got a few different things going on there that we might want to look at. We've got some really uneven volume levels in the clips. We've also got a breath sound which we might want to remove. Let's start off with this breath sound. The quickest way to remove it is to come up here and click the focus mode tool, select the area of the breath, and then hit backspace on the keyboard to remove it. Just click off this and change back to the pointer tool. Really loud, there'd be a and then really loud. That'd be a great now we don't have that potentially distracting breath sound. Just be careful when you're removing breathing though as things can start to sound a bit unnatural. If you're working with a voiceover for a commercial you might want to remove all breath sounds and actually any distracting noises just so that the focus of the message shines through the video and helps sell whatever product it's trying to sell. One of the key tools that you can use in Fairlight are the audio meters. For example down here if I play this back you can see that this meter is going up and down and it's hitting roughly about the negative 20 on average. Some high level guidelines for editing dialogue, whether it's people talking in a YouTube video, a feature film or a commercial, is to start off by trying to get the average to hit about negative 12 on the volume meter. This is only a rough guide and I go into more detail in my Fairlight course. Click the first link in the video description to learn more or scan this QR code. Alright, back to the video. So we're gonna go and try and even out the volume level of these clips a little bit. Make sure you're in pointer editing mode and we're going to start with this first clip. We'll just play this back. Then that would have a quite a low dynamic. And you can see down here that we're only hitting about negative 20. So we need to boost it to get to that negative 12 mark. One quick tip if you want to be able to quickly see the volume levels of clips, come up to the Fairlight menu, come down here and click view clip info display and then tick this volume tick box. When I click OK, now watch what happens down here. We now get the volume level that each clip is set to. In the case of this first clip, zero dB. So here we're working with the volume levels for these individual clips and not the volume level for the overall channel. To increase the volume level of this single clip, click this line and hold down your mouse button and drag it up to increase the volume and down to decrease the volume. The first number tells you the new absolute value and the second number tells you the difference from the previous value. In this case, 11.2 decibels. Let's play this back now and watch what happens in the volume meter. Then that would have a quite a low dynamic range. We're now hitting about the negative 10, which is slightly too loud. Another quick tip is if you come over here and click the plus button next to effects for this dialogue track, come down to metering and choose meter. This is gonna give us this floating window that we can also expand to give ourselves a slightly more readable view. So I'm just gonna play back this first clip again. And that would have a quite a low dynamic range. So we're hitting probably somewhere about negative 10. So we might want to just reduce this volume a little bit. And that would have a quite a low dynamic range. So now we're closer to that average negative 12 that we're aiming for. This second clip however, if I talk is probably a bit too quiet. So we'll move that up. However, if to roughly match the previous clip. The third clip here is actually whispering. I talked really quiet. And if you watch the volume meter here, I talked really quiet. it's somewhere between negative 30 and about negative 24. For whispering, you probably want this to be hitting somewhere between negative 20 and negative 15, somewhere in that range. So we're just going to alter this, increase the volume a little bit. I talked really quiet. I talked we have got a little peak in the volume here. We won't worry about that at the minute. So we're hitting I talk. about that negative 20 now. I talk. This next clip and then really loud. is supposed to be a little bit louder. So we're just going to adjust the volume. And then really loud. So we're hitting and then really a little bit more than negative 12. Next up, we've got the whispering again. If I just zoom in by using control plus, we can see that we boosted the previous whispering by 10.1 decibels. So let's just start off with that. Move this up to about 10.1. Listen to this. And then really quiet. So we might need a tiny bit more for that. And then really quiet. Just to get us about that negative 20. Do the same for the next clip. Again, this is supposed to be a bit louder, so we're probably gonna be aiming for about negative 10 here. And then really loud. And then for this final clip, this is generally normal talking, so we're gonna to wanna to hit about negative 12. 
be a greater dynamic range there of the audio. Once you've got all of these clips balanced a bit better compared to each other, you can then start to look inside individual clips and look at if you need to balance the talking within an individual clip. This means that the volume is going to change inside each individual clip to further enhance the balance. For example, if a person is talking too loud in one part of the clip and too quiet in another part of the clip, we can massage the volume levels to create a more pleasing overall sound. And that's exactly what you'll learn about in this next video. I'm Jason Roberts. Please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.